Hi everyone, Adam Shaw here from Brevera Media Company. Today we've got another vintage map for you guys. It is a map of Boston Harbor that was originally produced in 1899. As you can see, it is a bird's eye perspective map in that we get a three-dimensional perspective of the harbor. Uh, we're going to dive right into this map and kind of zoom in and explore this map. Before we do, I'm going to give a couple announcements. Uh, stay tuned to our channel. Uh, we're going to be doing a set of St. Patrick's Day themed uh, videos that pertain to Boston, Ireland, Dublin. We're going to talk about the history of St. Patrick's Day. So if you haven't already, definitely subscribe uh, to the channel and definitely check back if you have subscribed with us. Uh, we're going to be uploading videos uh, very often in this upcoming week, uh, next two weeks. So definitely stay tuned. Uh, before we go into this map, I'm going to give you a brief history of Boston, then we're going to dive right in. Uh, Boston was originally founded in 1630 by Puritan colonists from England. During the years before the regional area was referred to as Tremutane, uh, also known as Three Mountains, which is kind of head-scratching because we don't see mountains today. Uh, that's because Boston has gotten so developed really on the outs outskirts of the harbor. There are more rolling hills on the mainland, so uh, that just kind of, kind of some side information on that. Uh, Boston received its official name uh, after Boston, Lincolnshire, England, because it was the uh, the origins of uh, several predominant colonists that moved to the area. So they were originally from uh, this section of England known as Boston, Lincolnshire. Uh, so they named it Boston. Uh, in 1629, uh, this is kind of interesting as well, the Massachusetts Bay Colony's uh, first governor, John Winthorpe, led the signing of the Cambridge Agreement, a document that guaranteed the that Massachusetts would be an independent self-governing colony answering only to the English crown. Uh, so essentially it became their own entity, uh, but unfortunately they, they were still underneath the English crown, uh, which obviously later on did, uh, they had some conflict uh, you know, during the Revolutionary War. So uh, we're going to get more into that. Uh, the Puritans in the area focused on ethics and education, uh, which influences history greatly. I mean, uh, also the first, I thought this was kind of cool, America's first public school was actually founded in Boston in 1635. I believe it was called the Boston Latin School. It was the first school ever in, in America. Um, but I mean, you know, those traditions still exist. I mean, look, look at what we have, the schools that we have in Boston, Harvard, uh, MIT, I mean, a, a longstanding tradition of education. So I thought that was very, very unique. Uh, later in Boston's history, as you know, we talked about the Revolutionary War. Uh, the city was instrumental uh, in s several events uh, in the Revolutionary War, the Boston Massacre, the Boston Tea Party, Paul Revere's Midnight Ride, um, the Battle of Lexington, Concord, Bunker Hill, Siege of Boston. I mean, it was just a, a hotbed for the American Revolution. Uh, after the war, uh, Boston, uh, as you know, had a long tradition, I guess, in sailor and sea ex expedition, uh, which made it the world's, one of the world's wealthiest international ports that included slave trade, unfortunately, rum, fish, salt, tobacco. I mean, it became a, a massive trading hub uh, because of its access to the ocean and, and uh, kind of its sailing tradition. Uh, towards the early to the mid-1800s, Boston dramatically grew due to the influx of European immigrants, uh, predominantly Irish immigrants, uh, came to the city largely because of the potato famine. Uh, and by 1850, 35,000 Irish had been uh, uh, essentially lived in the, the city limits. So that was kind of cool. And then, you know, if you, the pockets of neighborhoods, Boston had several pockets of, of cultures, uh, you know, I guess you could say the Irish immigrants lived in South Boston and uh, in, in the Charleston area, and you had the the Italian immigrants living towards the north end uh, of Boston. So uh, 
just some information, some history into, into Boston. We're going to dive right in. We're going to zoom and kind of explore and examine this map. I've already taken a brief look at it already, and we can see various elements. We've got some labelings right here, A and B. A, that's Rose Wharf right there. B, a new custom house. These are piers by the looks of it, D and E. And we've got the Commonwealth Pier and the Fish Pier right over here. We go over to here, we only get to see a small section of Charlestown tucked away right here, but right here, uh, it's illustrated the Charlestown Navy Yard. Very cool. And we see the Bunker Hill Monument right there. You can see it illustrated right there. Let me zoom in. You can see it right, right there. Very well illustrated. Um, and we can see all these islands labeled Moon Island, Long Island, Spectacle Island, Castle Island. This is a fort right here on Castle Island. Number two. What is number two? Fort Independence. Where were we? Oh yeah, right there. Fort Independence. We've got Governor's Island. We've got all these routes. You see these sailing routes? I love these uh, illustrations on here. This is a route to Europe. So they go this way to go to Europe. We can show it to Nantucket. We can even see, if we look out the Cape Cod Bay off in the distance, we see Provincetown listed off, off in the distance. We can see this route, uh, southern lines going to New York. It's just beautiful. I love these maps. And we can really, uh, it's just a gorgeous area. Nantasket Beach right here. Let's look up some other locations. Let's look up by uh, Provincetown. We've got 2230. Let's see, 2223. Okay, there's the lighthouses, Wood End Light, Race Point Light. So those are the lighthouses by Provincetown. Isn't that cool? And then we've got 16 right here. That looks like another light right there at 16. Yep, I know it's light. Okay. Six. What's six? Range lights. I saw this Snake Island right over here. And we've got some. It's right by Deer Island. Great Brewster Island. Brewster, I'm sorry. Brewster Island. Um, definitely a cool map. I love I love these perspectives. And then we've got Quincy Bay right here. Dorchester Bay. We kind of get a feel for what, how Boston kind of grew. And this is 1899. So we had a, an idea of how busy and what's five? Five is labeled right there. It's on an island. That's farm school. Remember we talked about schooling and education, educational uh, traditions? Farm school right here on Thompson's Island. Very interesting. Lot, a lot of lighthouses are labeled on this map. A lot of lighthouses. Only, only one school, unfortunately. Um, but yeah. So uh, just to give you a nice view of boston harbor i hope you've enjoyed this video uh definitely give us a like uh give us a share uh leave a comment if you have any questions about this map subscribe to us if you're new uh we love uploading videos uh, uh vintage maps we love talking about history we're going to be doing saint patrick's day themed uh videos soon we we celebrate holidays and the history involved in holidays so if you like history you like maps uh definitely subscribe to us give us a like and uh, i will see you guys soon Okay, take care. All right, bye.